If you look at aneurysms in the general population, so if you take 100 people randomly, now, 50s and older, randomly, and do an MRI, MRA, or a special kind, you find about three to five people have a brain aneurysms and they don't know about it. Aneurysm is, is, is a silent disease, if you will. And the only time you discover brain aneurysms, you complain of a headache, or there's, you have sinusitis, or your ear have some problem, and you get screened to look for another problem with MRI or CAT scan, and behold, you find a brain aneurysm. The treatment of unruptured aneurysm was aneurysm clipped, the one documented it was in the 1950s. And at that time, all the way to about 90s, it all involves shaving your hair, cutting your scalp, reflecting the scalp down, opening a bone this much, and using the microscope to sneak underneath the brain or between the brain, not through the brain, find the aneurysm, put the clip on it. Well, that itself is very invasive. Surgery takes hours, anywhere from four to eight hours. You're in the hospital for three, four days, and the recovery is about two to six weeks. Then in 1990s and in 2000, became the treatment with endovascular, which we, it's kind of like the heart catheter. We make an, a hole in the artery in your leg and we go with catheters all the way and navigate to your brain and stuff the brain, if you will, with coils and to stop the aneurysm from filling from blood. That also has progressed and the technology helped us to become uh, faster and quicker and better. But till today, Almost 99% of all the hospitals around the world, and even in the United States, they do it under general anesthesia. There's two to three centers that does it while the patient is awake, alert, and the monitor static. And we do it, the reason we do it is to minimize any potential complication because you're talking to the patient. If something happened, you would know immediately so they can communicate that to you. Or you can have them move their hands, arms, and smile. It makes the procedure very quick. Is about 20 minutes and because the patient is awake they can go home and patient love that everybody is the candidate for the procedure whether it's a small aneurysm giant aneurysm whether it's simple aneurysm or complex aneurysm here you can go on these inoperable aneurysms giant aneurysm unreachable and you can go in and treat them in 20 minutes and then minimal incisions just a small hole in your leg and then go home on the same day in two or three days if you want to drive, if you want to go back to work, unless you do heavy lifting, that's a different story. This is just, as I say, is almost a sci-fi. This is the future, but we're able to do it here at the University of Iowa. University of Iowa Healthcare. Changing medicine, changing lives.